Here's some Rhino Tough puncture resistant anti fatigue insoles to prevent uh, stepping on nails and stuff. They're made by Rhino Tough. And it's got a stainless steel plate on the bottom. If I go through here and measure the thickness, a little over a half a millimeter. Uh, there's about 19 thou metric. Depends where I kind of grab it. 0 0.5, 0 0.52 millimeters. And you put these in your shoes so you don't step on stuff. I was going to go over here and measure the hardness. Got to set up hardness testing gizmos here by Tusu Bosan. I probably butchered the name there. Actually got these from Japan. Also, it's pretty stamps. And what you do with these is each one of these has got a different hardness range. There's a 50, a 60. 65 and you drag these across to measure the hardness. If I just start off here with the 65, drag it across, it scratches here. If I go through here and go down to a 45, drop radically down, it doesn't scratch. And then I'm going to go one up here, there's a 40, let's go to the 50. The 50 here, if I take it, drag it across, it will scratch. So it says the Rockwell hardness of this is between 45 to 50. 50 will scratch, 45 will not. And this file set here, it's got all these different files. These are the colors. And you get a set of these, you run through here. And the insoles here, uh, Impacto here has got a Canadian website on it. And Rhino Tough is their brand. It says it minimum force resistance of 270 pounds, steel plate, puncture resistant uh, for nails, iron shrouds, rocks. And then it's got the don't sue me warning on here basically saying that you're not designed, not for intentional acts. They don't want you to jump on bed and nails and then sue them that, oh, it didn't work. I mean, this is basically something you stick in as an added protection on regular boots or shoes so you don't uh, step on junk. And then you got to be careful you don't get one through the side if this is too small. Come in different sizes. And this is the hardness set. These are usually less than a hundred bucks. Um, I think I got these for only about 65 bucks overseas. They got the cheapest ones. They're all the same. I got a cheaper one because it's all in directory from uh, Japan and it's not in English. But I used to use, they've made these things forever. It's a good way to grossly figure out the hardness of something.